In just 24 hours, the eyes of the world will descend upon Ford Field in Detroit for the biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam. But tonight, we are here in the Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 24 hours before Summer Slam, it's Friday Night Smackdown. And what a main event we have on hand tonight. Before they collide one-on-one -on -one tomorrow night, Ilya Dragunov teams alongside the Cruiserweight Champion Tyler Bate to take on his SummerSlam opponent, the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre, as well as J.D. McDonough. Plus, the Women's Tag Team Championships are on the line tonight. Monday Night Raw's Katana Chance and Kaden Carter are in the house as they contest against SmackDown's Baszler and Stark. The gold is on the line. But we kick things off with some Lucha Libre action. And there is a score to be settled between the Latino World Order, Santos Escobar, and Alita Lo Andrade, who certainly played a factor in the tag team titles changing hands a few weeks ago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar! Let us take you back to two weeks ago at Saturday night's main event. The WWE Tag Team titles on the line, the LWO versus Angel and Birdo, who were assisted by Alitalo Andrade. As you see there, Andrade putting his hands on Rey Mysterio a few moments later, exposing that turnbuckle, the steel, facing the ring and right into the spine of Rey Mysterio time and time again. Angel Garza and Humberto taking the fullest advantage of the opportunity and certainly the aid that Andrade presented them, becoming the new WWE Tag Team Champions. And his opponent from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds, Andrea! Well, Andrade has had his issues with the Latino World Order dating back to the months of April and May. There was at one point in time Andrade wanted to team with Rey Mysterio. Thought Rey Mysterio was wasting his time with the LWO and more specifically Santos Escobar. Whatever personal grudge Andrade has, it has come all the way back around and it has cost the LWO the tag team titles in recent weeks. Well, it was last Saturday at WWE Live for channel members only that Angel Garza and Humberto defended those tag team titles against Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. And once again, Andrade assisting those two gentlemen who accompany him tonight in retaining their new coveted gold. Whatever Andrade's issues are with the LWO, they have certainly come together tenfold, and Santos Escobar is looking for a measure of revenge on behalf of himself, and of course the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio, who have got to be itching to get back the WWE Tag Team titles. What is going to be a great night of action, as it always is here on SmackDown. We fight on Friday nights, and just 24 hours before SummerSlam, there is certainly a mood, a pressure, a atmosphere like no other surrounding Detroit, Michigan, and certainly surrounding Grand Rapids here tonight. Massive tag team matchup coming up in your main event as Drew McIntyre teams with J.D. McDonough to take on the Cruiserweight Champion, Tyler Bate as well as the Man Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. The women's tag team titles on the line as well, but here we go, kicking things off. A little grudge match between Santos Escobar and Andrade. As expected, Andrade facing the fury of Santos high out of the gate. Escobar's been holding back those closed fists for a couple of weeks. But now that Andrade cost Santos the tag team titles, certainly no fist gonna be held tonight. Not the first meeting between these two gentlemen. Go all the way back to Battleground in May. They went one-on-one. -on -one. Andrade was the victor on that night. The Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, certainly looking for a different result here on SmackDown. Also still to come tonight, Alpha Academy's master, Chad Gable, has been extremely frustrated over the last two weeks ever since coming up short against Carmelo Hayes in his hometown of Minneapolis for the United States Championship. Chad Gable has issued an open challenge to the SmackDown locker room. He will be in action against whoever answers the call later tonight. 
Meanwhile, Andrade nearly putting Santos away in the early moments. And look at Birdo in the background taking a page out of El Idolo's book, exposing the corner just as Andrade did back at Saturday night's main event. I'm sure Andrade will wait for his perfect moment to take advantage of that exposed steal. But right now, El Idolo has got this matchup in full control. Two incredible Lucha Libre talents who have done this song and dance before. Dare I say this has become a more personal battle than the one they had back at Battleground in May. Santos Escobar trying to pull the rug out from underneath Andrade, not just yet. Andrade just a few weeks ago. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold that thought! Santos Escobar right into the exposed steel. Come on now! And Escobar finally putting the boot up. And Andrade meets the steal, and good for him. The referee Chad Patton put in an unlikely situation here. The exposed steal, just like the steel steps at ringside, just like the barricade that surrounds the squared circle. Not necessarily an extra weapon, just the surroundings of the battle. When both men are coming in contact with you, you can't really call it disqualification. But it's certainly a dirty tactic, in my opinion. Santos Escobar trying to dish back some punishment to Andrade. And I am sure after tonight, we'll be turning their sights to the two men at ringside, Angel and Birdo, in an attempt to win back the tag team titles. Look at Andrade just backing down Santos Escobar. Some well-timed and viciously executed forearms. As we were about to mention, just a few weeks ago on SmackDown, Andrade picking up a victory over Apollo Crews. He owns a victory over Bobby Lashley earlier this summer. Alita Lowe has picked up some big time Ws over the last few months since his SmackDown return. I see a couple of opportunities pass him by, but now obviously with a new game plan over the last few weeks. Aligning himself with the men now we now call the WWE Tag Team Champions at Angel and Birdo. Just as it has benefited those two men, it may just benefit Andrade equally. Santos Escobar not looking for that to be the case. Meteor in the corner. Trap it Andrade, Andrade backs him down. And a little pinfall here. Not just yet. A lot of back and forth action in this matchup, and we expect nothing less. Spinning back elbow by El Idolo. And Escobar kicks out again. We've got a good one here, as we've called it a grudge matchup between these two gentlemen. Santos Escobar with a score to settle. Andrade looking to once and for all put the LWO behind him. Escobar dipping and dodging, and now tilt to whirl. And leg drop. Move for move, hold for hold. Escobar and Andrade hanging in there with each other no matter what they continue to throw. Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wild watching on at ringside. Of course, as we mentioned, they just fell short of Angel and Berto last Saturday night at WWE Live for no Asian Gaming Channel members. Pursuit of the tag team titles did not work out. And Escobar may be suffering the same result if this keeps up. Well, wait a minute, it looks like Joaquin Wilde is trying to do his standest to take Andrade's eye off the ball. All's fair in love and war if Angel and Birdo and Andrade could use a dirty tactic or two. Who's to say LWO can't meet him in the middle? Allowing Santos to get to his feet. Tries to go low, could have been looking for a phantom driver. Andrade cuts him off with a big boot. And again, the pendulum momentum continues to swing between these two extraordinary athletes. Escobar grabbing a hold. Andrade trying to create some distance. Lidolo's got a little bit more muscle on him. He's trying to use his size and strength to his advantage. And Santos on top. Escobar now the one creating distance. Again, another reversal here. Reversal for reversal over the last few minutes. Andrade looking to bring that sequence of maneuvers to a hole. Big time powerbomb. There's the strength that we talked about. But Santos Escobar still alive. Escobar is fighting for the honor of the Latino World Order tonight. Payback on the line of the LWO. 
Tope Suez seated to the outside by Andrade. Andrade is taken over here on SmackDown as Escobar delivers right to the LED post and he is in enemy territory. That was a cheap shot by Berto that time. Angel's got his hands on Escobar. Things are getting all kinds of tied up at ringside as the WWE Tag Team Champions are trying to get involved. Escobar fighting for his life, but just wait into the waiting arms of Andrade and Escobar goes flying over the top. That was no mishap by Andrade. Full intentions of sending Santos Escobar into enemy territory moments ago. Now Santos Escobar caught between a rock and a hard place. Frog splash by El Idolo. Andrade has taken over in a back and forth matchup here on SmackDown. Escobar may be in trouble. Hammerlock DDT. Santos Escobar and the payback he had in mind are going to have to live to fight another day. This new trio of Andrade, Angel, and Berto has brought them nothing but success, and they are starting to become a force to be reckoned with. Here is your winner, Andrea. Andrade picking up the victory tonight as success continues to follow that trio around here on SmackDown. Well, we want to shift gears because in just 24 hours in Ford Field, one of the big Friday night SmackDown matches going down at SummerSlam is the defense of the women's world championship. Raquel Rodriguez will defend the championship against the prodigy Roxanne Perez. Perez has been extremely clear. She did not come to SmackDown to make friends. She came to be the champion. Will she be the one to take down Raquel tomorrow night? Wearing championship gold around your waist can prove to be a double-edged sword and women's world champion Raquel Rodriguez has been reminded of that on the road to SummerSlam. Weeks ago, Roxanne Perez surprised us all as she stabbed Raquel in the back and made her intentions extremely clear. Perez, someone who has been climbing the ranks of success for months, has stated time and time again, she did not come to SmackDown to make friends. She came to be the champion. Raquel Rodriguez, a woman who has personified resilience in 2024, turning away the lives of Shayna Baszler, Io Sky, and Asuka to be the rightful holder of the hardware. Now she finds herself fighting an emotional battle against a young prodigy in Roxanne Perez who has shown there is no length she will travel to become the champion. So who will leave Detroit as the women's world champion? We find out the answer to that question as the prodigy Roxanne Perez challenges the women's world champion Raquel Rodriguez at SummerSlam. The Women's World Championship on the line tomorrow night, but the Women's Tag Team Championship is up for grabs here on SmackDown. The number one contenders representing Monday Night Raw make the trip to the blue brand tonight. Katana Chance and Kaden Carter turning away out of the fire and Island on last week on Velocity now punch their golden ticket. They contest against Baszler and Stark up next here on SmackDown. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Well, certainly the Donation Gaming channel member exclusive WWE live event was off the charts last weekend in Springfield, Missouri. 
Of course, the next time we come your way for WWE Live Event Saturday night, September the 7th, more information on that to come. But we are back inside the Van Andels Arena here in Grand Rapids. Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark set to defend their women's tag team championships that they won back at Saturday night's main event for the very first time. An interpromotional matchup on SmackDown soil. The gold's on the line. Let's send things down to the ring to Samantha Irvin for your official match introductions. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. And it is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Kaden Carter and Katana Chance. And their opponents, the team of... Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark defeating Asuka and Io Sky just a number of weeks ago to move on to Saturday night's main event in Minneapolis where they defeated Monday Night Raw's Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville to capture those very women's tag team championships. Jessica Carr hoisting the prizes high in the sky as Monday Night Raw talent and Katana Chance and Caden Carter return to familiar territory here on SmackDown to contest for the gold 24 hours before SummerSlam. A great contest, two contrasting styles. Baszler and Stark with their MMA backgrounds love to hit hard and hit fast. Katana Chance and Caden Carter love to take things to the air. Ever exciting duo. Should be very interesting to see if they have what it takes to turn away Baszler and Stark. It's been an up and down couple of weeks for Chance and Carter. Remember they were one of the teams who originally had the opportunity to compete for the vacant titles back at Saturday night's main event. Unfortunately, they were upset by Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. But a bounce back victory last week on Velocity, defeating Alba Fire and Isla Dawn of the Unholy Union, becoming number one contenders. Now Katana Chance and Caden Carter look to capitalize on this opportunity. They may be wearing blue upon their return to SmackDown tonight, but that does not mean guaranteed victory. Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler have come out hot out of the gate. Zoe Stark, somebody who Shayna Baszler took under her wing earlier this year and has obviously brought them success. Zoe Stark has continued to blossom before our very eyes. And now, Tag Team Championship gold around their waist. They cannot discount the efforts of Katana Chance and Caden Carter. These two women, former Tag Team Champions in their own right, and they're looking to win back the gold here tonight on SmackDown. Zoe Stark going for a ride, tag made to Katana, and there is the high-risk, high-octane offense that has made Katana Chance and Caden Carter famous. So much opportunity for the women's division at hand right now. The women's tag team championships back in the fold over the last few weeks, and obviously, interpromotional belts, as we are witnessing as interpromotional matchup goes down inside the squared circle right now. Of course, the queen of the ring tournament and the PLE going down next month in Madison Square Garden. That tournament going to kick off in just the next couple of weeks on Raw and SmackDown. What about what's going down tomorrow night at SummerSlam? As we saw moments ago, the in-depth look at the Women's World Championship matchup. The prodigy Roxanne Perez. She has climbed the ranks here on SmackDown, has certainly turned some heads. A deserving challenger. Will she have enough to take down the resilient Raquel Rodriguez? What about the action from Monday Night Raw as the EST Bianca Belair, who last held Women's Championship gold two years ago at SummerSlam itself, returns to the biggest party of the summer to take on the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. This is going to be a big night in just 24 hours in Ford Field. Opportunity reigns supreme for the wrestlers in the Women's Division on Raw and SmackDown. A ton of chance fighting in enemy territory. Trying to muscle up Zoe Stark, and she does. Don't discount any strength that Katana Chance might have. Obviously fast, obviously agile. Zoe Stark might have got surprised by that snake guys that time. Stark set of the ropes, Katana Chance. Up, down, and over, and... Tutorial Tornado DDT! Zoe Stark might have been seeing stars if she wasn't already off that snake guys in the corner a few moments ago. And once again into the turnbuckle. 
Star trying to create a little distance, might be feeling a sense of urgency as Katana chances revving up the engines here in Grand Rapids. Another head scissors takedown. Katana chance trying to stay unpredictable. As we mentioned at the top of the bell, certainly a contrast in styles between those two duos. Who has got what it takes to outlast the other and win the gold? I want to remind you once again, the next time we come your way for a channel member exclusive WWE live event, Saturday night, September the 7th. You want to gain access to this exclusive event, hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards. Not only receive access to the, to the event, excuse us, going down on September the 7th. See those replays, those back catalogs. This is the WWE live event that went down last weekend. So much great action on hand here at the WWE. It's been one hell of a summer. A lot of that culminating tomorrow night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time at SummerSlam. Oof! Hey, you're talking about seeing stars, Zoe Stark, making sure Katana Chance isn't going to know where she is when she wakes up on Saturday morning. Center of the corner, tag made of the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Zoe Stark has fought a lot of this matchup, but the Queen of Spades may be a difference maker. Former WWE Women's Champion, Women's World Champion, really held down Friday Night SmackDown for the better part of a year. Did Shayna Baszler, and now is seeing success as one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. The Tana Chance and Caden Carter just may surprise the current holders of the gold tonight. Another head scissors takedown, Baszler knocked off her game. Into the corner she goes, Katana Chance in much need of a tag and she gets it. Oh wow, look at this, springboard, drop kick, double team. That is the high octane offense that we discussed. That is why Katana Chance and Kanan Carter, your rightful number one contenders and all the tools to be crowned new women's tag team champions. Certainly would be a feather of the cap of the Raw brand if there's two representatives walk into SmackDown tonight and turn away SmackDown talents and Baszler and Stark. Nonetheless, tag made to Zoe Stark. Shayna Baszler obviously rocked and looking to reset. Zoe Stark to hit that Z360, knocked the daylights out of Chelsea Green two weeks ago in Minneapolis to secure the gold for herself and Baszler. Sure, Chance and Carter watch that back and know that they got to avoid a Z360 at all and any at all cost. We can get our words out. Ian Carter hanging in there as we are seeing. Oof. The, the interesting thing about this is what is going to happen if this matchup continues to move on, continues to head into deep water. Shayna Baszler extremely familiar when it comes to going the distance in championship matches. Time of chance, Kaden Carter really can't say the same, and Zoe Stark will be new waters for her as well. But Shayna Baszler so familiar with being a champion here in the WWE and fighting such high-profile matches, you got to believe the longer this matchup goes, the more it benefits the champions. The chance and Carter not looking to see the other end of the tracks almost had this matchup won. And again, it is that high offense. Springboard crossbody moments ago taking Zoe Stark off her feet. Chance and Carter going to have to lean on that high flying as much as possible. There's only so much you can do when your opponent is soaring through the skies, but there's Zoe Stark leaving the soles of her boots off the Insiguri. Now, full Nelson German, good night! And Stark not done, sending Kane into the ropes. And backdrop! Now, Zoe Stark starting to rev up the engines. Zoe Stark, known as a pit bull at times. She is showing some of that intestinal fortitude, some of that bad attitude, some power in the arsenal of one half of the tag team champions as Zoe Stark may be cooking up a recipe for success. Into the cover to retain the titles. And not just yet, Caden Carter, you want to talk about intestinal fortitude, look no further than the challengers. I mean, they proved that on Velocity last week. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn really dominated a good part of that matchup until the challengers turned it around. But I don't know if there's any coming back from this. Double team maneuver by the champions. But Katana Chance says, as long as I got breath in my lungs, we are still in this fight. 
Hayden Carter's going to be feeling worse for wear off that double team, and there's Zoe Stark hanging her up in the top ropes. Baszler and Stark may have been given some of the respect for the WWE Universe as of late. You've heard it from arena to arena, but that doesn't mean they don't still have an underhanded tactic or two up their sleeve. One of those cases where you just have to respect the results that these two women, and especially Shayna Baszler, continue to produce. Soul of the boot right to Caden as she crawls aimlessly towards Katana Chance, but Zoe Stark bringing her right back in enemy territory. The champions trying to cut off the ring. Caden Carter just trying to cross the finish line. And we have got a barn burner on our hands for the Women's Tag Team Championships here tonight on SmackDown. Zoe Stark take it off her feet and she gets one of the jaw. Does Caden have enough left in the tank to come alive? Zoe Stark sent into the enemy territory now. Tag made a Katana Chance. Chance going up. And this is the maneuver that these two party animals executed to become number one contenders. Katana Chance off her shoulders. We're gonna have new tag team champions. Shayna Baszler will not allow it. Katana Chance broke up the cover a few minutes ago. Shayna Baszler now doing the same. They might not have gotten the three count, but momentum has shifted drastically in this tag team title matchup. The challengers seemingly on top at the current moment. Katana Chance like a spark plug in there, starting to electrify the squared circle. Zoe Stark. I don't know if she's got any idea where she is, and she is just fighting like a bat in hell right now. And sends Chance into the corner. Try to pull the life out of the lungs of Katana Chance before this momentum keeps up. Nearly almost had new tag team champions that time, but Shayna Baszler, the X Factor, deciding that three count was not gonna be had. On a chance down and out momentarily as the tag team champions look to regroup here on Friday Night SmackDown. Oof. Well, we have seen a couple of mean shots like just like that by Zoe Stark throughout this matchup. As that mean attitude that she brings to the squared circle, half Nelson. Zoe Stark with a tag to Shayna Baszler. Katana Chance hustles up. Tag made to Kaden Carter. And Shayna Baszler takes her feet out from underneath of her. Fresh legs, at least momentarily, on both sides of the squared circle. But Shayna Baszler, again, not looking to allow a rally from the number one contenders. Kaden creating some distance. Inside Cradle to steal the tag team titles. Jessica Carr just a tad out of position, but Baszler's still in it regardless. Baszler and Katana, or excuse me, Baszler and Kaden Carter jockeying for position here. Kaden's set into the corner this time. The tag team champions have done their damnedest to wrestle as much of this matchup on their half as the ring as they can. And so many tag team maneuvers have really brung them some fortune. Zoe Stark, suplex after suplex, strike after strike for the pit bull in this matchup. Now she heads to the top rope and delivers a beautifully executed frog splash. Katana Chance again breaking things up. What is it going to take to see an ending on this matchup tonight? This in our promotional battle for the tag team titles. High level competition here on SmackDown. Another tag made to the veteran, Shayna Baszler, and they're looking to stack the offense. Another double team maneuver by the Queen of Spades into the cover. And that is gonna do it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Asuka and Io Sky at the top of the aisle right now, and looks like they are trying to call their shot. Well, Katana Chance and Kaden Carter falling short of the finish line. It looks like Asuka and Io, what next?
Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. champion Carmelo Hayes and his rise has certainly been something to watch here on SmackDown. But somebody who is not satisfied with the results Carmelo Hayes has been producing is the man who was turned away by Melo two weeks ago in Minneapolis. Chad Gable looking to bounce back. It's with an open challenge to the SmackDown locker room. Oh, man. Well, which one is it going to be? Imperium has arrived on the scene 24 hours before Guther defends the World Heavyweight Championship. It looks like one of these two men are looking for the same mentality that Gable's got. Bounce back after a recent loss. Things are getting interesting here on SmackDown. And his opponent accompanied by Giovanni Vinci, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser. Ludwig Kaiser will be the gentleman going 1v1 with Master Gable here tonight. Very interesting decision on behalf of Imperium. It was just last week that these two men were upset in a two-on-one handicap match by the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Therefore, barring them from ringside tomorrow night at SummerSlam when Guther defends the World Championship against the American Nightmare. Well, Kaiser and Vinci and their services not needed come Detroit. But here in Grand Rapids, it is fair game. Chad Gable looking to bounce back. Frustrated from his loss in his hometown to Carmelo Hayes a few weeks ago, Ludwig Kaiser also looking to get back in the win column. Well, be careful what you wish for, Chad. Because as he's walked out here without his Alpha Academy family tonight, Imperium always lurking with the numbers. Well, nonetheless, it's been a great night of action here on Friday Night SmackDown thus far. It's still a monstrous tag team matchup to come in your main event. Chad Gable and Ludwig Kaiser, two similar mentalities, trying to get back in the victory column. Who is going to get their wish here on SmackDown? I'm sure Kaiser and Vinci giving a pep talk from the World Heavyweight Champion. That being the ring general Guther after their loss to Cody Rhodes last week. Whether it was a motivating pep, pep talk or an intimidating one, it remains to be seen. Sure, it happened behind closed doors in Imperium's dressing room, but nonetheless, Ludwig Kaiser stepping up to the challenge tonight. Let's see if Chad Gable can get his head on straight. Had to be a heartbreaking loss just two weeks ago in his hometown of Minneapolis, Minnesota. One hell of a main event encounter between Chad Gable and Carmelo Hayes for the United States Championship. Unfortunately for Gable, was unable to get the job done. Chad has been very vocal on WWE.com in recent interviews about his itch for championship gold. 
And unfortunately, the U.S. title passing him by. Now Gable back at the drawing board, trying to make some waves. Belly to belly off the top to Lindvig Kaiser. Gable hustling up. Desperate for victory, trying to score it there, not just yet. Chad Gable all the tools to be a player here on SmackDown. And he has picked up some victories over the last couple of months, but unfortunately has not been able to secure them where it matters. Remember, he failed to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Of course, coming up short in his pursuit of the United States Championship two weeks ago. Hell, a few months ago, Alpha Academy fell short to A-Town down under in their pursuit of the tag team titles. But maybe tonight is where Gable's luck turns around. Kaiser's head just bouncing off the canvas along with the rest of his body. Unfortunately for Chad, Kaiser's still in this matchup. Oh, and he gets Gable. Caught him slipping, air raid crash. And Gable with the kick out. These two men not holding back tonight. Similar goal on getting back into the win column. Obviously, I'm sure feeling different types of pressure. Chad Gable putting the pressure on himself to succeed. Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, I am sure, have the World Heavyweight Champion breathing down their neck after what happened last week on SmackDown. Remember, Kaiser just a few weeks ago pushed Ilya Dragunov to a great match up here on Friday nights, but came up short in that contest as well. Chad Gable starting to feel it here. German suplex to Kaiser. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, of course, Giovanni Vinci at ringside. And look at Vinci, he's also exposed that corner. Taking his eye off the ball, Kaiser taking advantage. Wipe out, Chad Gable. And he just got caught. Disappointing, but nothing you can do. Chad Gable's gonna have to figure it out. Head back to the drawing board, because tonight he got caught by a momentary distraction, and it pays Imperium and Ludwig Kaiser dividends. Well, Imperium standing tall was not the result seven nights ago here on SmackDown as they went 2v1 against the number one contender to the world title, Cody Rhodes. This victory ensuring that Imperium will be barred from ringside tomorrow night at SummerSlam. Last week, Cody Rhodes was victorious, but he was not left standing as Guther ambushed him from behind with that very World Heavyweight Championship. It has been a tumultuous summer for these two superstars on the road to their meeting that is one year in the making. The King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one with the Ring General Guther. It is going down tomorrow night, live in Ford Field for the big gold belt. One year ago at SummerSlam, Cody Rhodes achieved one of the highest honors of his career as he conquered Gunther, dealing him his first loss since joining SmackDown and also becoming the United States Champion. But many believe that loss 12 months ago has only made Gunther stronger, leaving doubts in the minds of the world on the legitimacy of Cody's victory. The past year has been one of heartbreak, triumph, trials, and tribulations for one American nightmare. All the while, the last year for the Ring General has been one of unquestionable wins, dominating performances, and a wasteland of destruction created by his own hands. Who the hell is gonna stop that man? Since Gunther's SmackDown debut in December of 2022, he has accumulated a record that reads 32 victories and only one defeat. A defeat that still rings in the ears of the General, who is out to stomp out the memory of that night. August 17th at SummerSlam will mark 275 days as the heavyweight champion of the world for the ring General Gunther. And on that night, Gunther not only seeks retention of his gold, but is out to solidify his legacy once and for all. No matter the reigning king that awaits him. A date in Detroit 
for one Cody Rhodes marks the culmination of a year's journey through the highest of highs. Cody Rhodes is going to SummerSlam! And the lowest of lows. The 2024 King of the Ring winner scratched and clawed his way to this moment. Rhodes and Gunther have done this song and dance before, but SummerSlam is no doubt the highest occasion of them all. The American Nightmare versus the Ring General. The King of the Ring versus the World Heavyweight Champion, Cody Rhodes versus Gunther in the main event at SummerSlam. The biggest party of the summer is nearly here. It is going down right there in Ford Field tomorrow night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And when the bell sounds in Detroit, anything goes between Die Jack and the Megastar, L.A. Knight. It is a street fight that culminates the brawls and the actions between these two men throughout the summer. Who's gonna get the last laugh when there's anything on the line? There is a grudge match, a score to be settled between the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre and the man Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov has defeated McIntyre twice before. Losses that has not sat in well with the Scottish warrior. Will Drew finally be victorious and slay the man Dragon? The Women's World Championship, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, is up for grabs. The prodigy Roxanne Perez continues to climb the ranks, but Raquel Rodriguez has proven to be resilient. Can she turn away the challenger, or will tomorrow night be the crowning achievement for Roxanne? From Monday Night Raw, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. It has been two years since Bianca Belair last held the gold. She returns to the biggest party of the summer, looking to finally hold the championship once more. But can she take down the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley? Rhea Ripley representing the Judgment Day, the same unit that stands alongside the visionary Seth Freakin Rollins as they go 4v4 against the Usos, Solo Sokoa and Roman Reigns of the Bloodline in the eight-man tag team warfare. In the Bloodline, a family that runs deep. The Great One, The Rock, returns to the squared circle from guest host to in-ring action. Randy Orton brought it all upon himself. And now, for the first time ever, these two icons lock horns in Detroit. The Monday Night Raw main event for the WWE Championship sees the sequel to one hell of a movie that went down back in London at Money in the Bank. CM Punk defends his newly won WWE title against the former champion, Kevin Owens. Something's gotta give. Who will be the champ? The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Ring General Guther, the King of the Ring, versus the World Heavyweight Champion. A story one year in the making. Guther has defeated Cody. Cody has defeated Guther. Tomorrow night is the rubber match. We're in the end game now. Who is leading?
Ultimate SummerSlam as the World Heavyweight Champion! Holy hell, what a night it's gonna be tomorrow in Detroit! But the bell still to be sound, not once but twice, as it is main event time in Grand Rapids! The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! Drew McIntyre told WWE.com earlier this week that he plans to show Ilya Dragunov his most vicious side yet come SummerSlam. Tonight, possibly an early preview of what the Scottish Warrior has in mind. Unable to win back the World Heavyweight Championship, turned away by Ilya Dragunov, not once but twice when opportunity was at an all-time high. McIntyre was bound to combust and last month at Money in the Bank, he left Ilya Dragunov laying moments after a heartbreaking loss. McIntyre is out to prove he can beat Ilya Dragunov and move one step closer to winning back the World Heavyweight Championship. The Mad Dragon, however, looking to spew his fire, get his pound of flesh, and once again turn away the challenge of the Scottish Warrior tomorrow night. And here comes a man who knows Dragunov extremely well. And his partner from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough! The former Cruiserweight Champion J.D. McDonough getting his hands dirty last week on SmackDown as the title was on the line between Tyler Bate and the Bruiserweight Butch. An extremely competitive matchup that unfortunately did not see a solid result as JD McDonough arrived on the scene and left both the champion and challenger staring up at the lights. McDonough obviously frustrated, losing his cruiserweight title to Tyler Bate last month at Money in the Bank and then coming up short against Butch just a few weeks later. Butch awarded an opportunity to become the cruiserweight champion against the big strong boy last week. J.D. McDonough was not going to allow a satisfying result on either side of the squared circle. McDonough for months was obsessed with defeating Ilya Dragunov to win the Cruiserweight Championship. And things have really come full circle as McDonough is once again in pursuit of the championship and not only tonight opposes the current champion, but opposes an old rival in the Czar. And speaking of the Cruiserweight Champion of the World! And from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Tyler Bates! You know, earlier tonight we were talking about Chad Gable and his inability, unfortunately for him, to really turn his luck around as of late. When you talk about Tyler Bate, you're looking at somebody who has turned their luck around in the flip of a switch. Tyler Bate was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown from Raw back in the month of April, and it took some time for him to see some success, but quickly became the number one contender for the Cruiserweight title and made the most of the opportunity in the very first go-around last month at Money in the Bank. Tyler Bate defending that title against the Bruiserweight Butch, somebody he knows extremely well seven nights ago, and I am sure there is unfinished business between those two bruisers. But tonight, Tyler Bate looking to settle the score with J.D. McDonough. You gotta believe a victory over the Irish Ace going two for two against that man would really brush J.D. McDonough off to the side when it comes to future championship opportunities. But I'll tell you what, this man has taken the summer by storm. Win, lose, or draw, the man Dragon has continued to fly all over North America, all the way to across the pond in London last month. And no matter the soils he has graced, has continued to make the legend of Ilya Dragunov world renowned. And from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. SummerSlam almost looked extremely different as Ilya Dragunov was within inches of defeating Gunther and becoming the World Heavyweight Champion just five weeks ago. 
But now Drew McIntyre reared his ugly head and stirring the pot with Ilya Dragunov. And now Ilya with a new pursuit in mind. And that's getting his pound of flesh. And once again, defeating McIntyre on one of the biggest stages in the WWE calendar, the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Dragunov defeating McIntyre in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament. Defeating Drew in the final moments of that gauntlet matchup to become number one contender for the World Championship back in June. Those two losses sending McIntyre over the proverbial edge. We saw how McIntyre has taken out his frustration and has become a whole new individual in recent weeks. Whether it's been Dragunov, Tyler Bate, or even the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, McIntyre has done his damnedest to remind the WWE Universe and tell the WWE locker room face up just how dangerous he can be. Well, nonetheless, it is made of that time here on SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Champion Tyler Bate, although outmatched when it comes to pound for pound with Drew McIntyre, has certainly got his own score to settle with this man. Tyler Bate, the first gentleman to step up in defense of Ilya Dragunov after Drew stabbed him in the back last month at Money in the Bank. Tyler Bate went one-on-one -on -one with McIntyre several weeks ago here on SmackDown. Unfortunately, that matchup going to a disqualification as McIntyre beat the hell out of the Cruiserweight Champion with a steel chair and multiple Claymore kicks. Look at Tyler Bate! They don't call him the big strong boy for nothing. McIntyre may be a behemoth compared to the Cruiserweight Champion, but Tyler Bate built tough, built strong, and a champion on SmackDown today for good reason. I'm J.D. McDonough and I'm watching this at ringside. I'm getting a bird's eye view of exactly why Tyler Bate was able to become the Cruiserweight Champion. That internal strength, that intestinal fortitude. Oh man, but McIntyre just levels him. I'm sure Drew McIntyre is desperate for victory tonight, just as he will be tomorrow, as McIntyre sneak attack and knocks his opponent at SummerSlam off the apron. The last thing that Drew McIntyre wants to allow is any momentum going to the side of Ilya Dragunov. The last time we saw these two men out here in the arena was two weeks ago. Dragunov defeating Ludwig Kaiser. McIntyre spoiling his celebration with a Claymore kick. Now J.D. McDonough, the legal man, and these two men locking horns for the first time since Money in the Bank. Should say legally between the ropes, between the bells. And of course, J.D. McDonough put his hands on Tyler Bate when he wasn't supposed to seven nights ago. J.D. McDonough extremely familiar with the Cruiserweight Champion, Tyler Bate. Desperately wants his one-on-one -on -one rematch for the gold. McDonough also knows Ilya Dragunov like the back of his hand. Those two men had several awards throughout 2024. And now Ilya Dragunov tagged in, takes down McDonough. Look at the double team offense between the champion and the dragon. Now for the first time since May the 4th at Battleground, Ilya Dragunov and JD McDonough reigniting their flame. Ilya Dragunov owns two pinfall victories over McDonough in 2024. McDonough defeating Ilya in the last man standing match at Battleground several months ago. There's the matchup that of course kicked off JD's Cruiserweight Championship reign, the same one that Tyler Bates spoiled back at Money in the Bank. Tyler back in, looking for a victory over JD McDonough. Hoping to send him to the back of the line in terms of becoming the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, but JD McDonough still in this tag team matchup. Of course the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament gonna be returning every Sunday for eight weeks, start, starting on September the 29th. I'm sure both of these men who were involved in last year's tournament came up short. I'd love to get back into that 16-man field this year. Man who won it all last year, 2023 Cruiserweight Classic winner. You're looking at him on the apron. The man dragging Ilya Dragunov winning that tournament. The reason he is on SmackDown today. Nice sidestep by Tyler Bate. And now J.D. McDonough 
And in a very familiar situation here, Fireman's carry around and around we go. The Irish Devil isn't going to know where he is, whether he's in Grand Rapids, Detroit, or all the way back in London. And down goes JD. Similar to what we saw back at Money in the Bank. Tyler Bate hoping for victory. Drew McIntyre ensuring that is not to be, at least just yet. Charles Robinson getting caught up in the crosshairs. Donna creating a little distance. Tyler Bate on his shoulders. Devil inside. And in a flip of the switch, the victors almost were the men known as the Irish Ace and the Scottish Warrior. Ilya Dragunov breaking things up in a tag made to Drew McIntyre. Get to see Ilya Dragunov get his hands on McIntyre in this matchup. And I'm sure McIntyre would almost love to keep it that way. Allow Ilya Dragunov to watch from the apron what may happen tomorrow night at SummerSlam. McIntyre promises to bring his most vicious side yet. Make an example out of Ilya Dragunov. We will see if McIntyre can put his money where his mouth is in just 24 hours in Ford Field. Tyler Bate crawling in, tag made to Ilya Dragunov. Here we go, Dragunov takes down McIntyre. Dragunov in search of his pound of flesh and he may be getting a little entree, a little appetizer if you will, before things go down and the bell sounds at SummerSlam. McIntyre taken down by a fired up mad dragon as Ilya Dragunov Looking to set the precedent for the biggest party of the summer to Glasgow kiss as McIntyre found himself in an opportune state. And nearly defeating Dragunov in the midst of this tag team matchup. Imagine how braggadocious McIntyre would be if he gets the pinfall victory over Dragunov before their one-on-one -on -one meeting. Both men making tags. Tyler Bate, J.D. McDonough back in here. Both going high. Nobody gets the delivery they hope for. McDonough in the air by the big strong boy. J.D. McDonough goes behind now. Tyler Bate creates the distance. Cruiserweight champion and a potential future challenger. J.D. McDonough sent in the corner. Looks like Bate and Dragunov are trying to switch things up. Trying to keep each other a little bit more fresh. McDonough with a headbutt. And first a Glasgow kiss by McIntyre, then a headbutt by the ginormous dome of J.D. McDonough. Who's to say he ain't got any brains in there? Dragunov sends McDonough to the ropes, big time knee! Ilya Dragunov doing what brought him to the dance against a man he is oh so familiar with. McDonough sent for another ride. And another tag to the Cruiserweight Champion. Dragunov and Bate working like a well-oiled machine. Tyler Bate looking to put the icing on the cake. Goes for the drop kick. Nobody home. J.D. McDonough, big time Uranagi. Into the cover on Tyler Bate. Not to be, wait a minute. McIntyre's hustling up around the ring. And I believe he just pulled Ilya Dragunov off the apron. A brawl has ensued at ringside as J.D. McDonough delivers a headbutt. Saido combination by the Irish Devil. J.D. McDonough has pinned the Cruiserweight Champion. Drew McIntyre secures some last minute momentum and McDonough making himself an undeniable future challenger for the Cruiserweight Championship he lost five weeks ago in London, England. A bruising tag team matchup with a deflating ending for this Grand Rapids audience. Much to the chagrin of this sold out crowd, but victory for McIntyre and McDonough. All roads lead to SummerSlam in just 24 hours.
If you're feeling low 